my next guest have been very busy during lockdown filming the new series of John and Lisa's Weekend Kitchen. When John goes on holiday to Greece, he suddenly has a different persona. So John becomes John. And, so, and his, his, he suddenly starts speaking to people. So when he says, like, Calamara in the morning to say hello, he'll say it really deep, with a really deep accent. Can't I try when I go on so holidays... Say it how you say it. I try to go on holidays and learn a little bit of the language, don't say I? Say how you say it. Calimera. And so everyone hears this, and the waiters then start speaking Greek to him, cos they think that he obviously speaks it really well, cos he'll go, oh, Calamara, and walk off. And obviously he doesn't understand anything else, but he tries... John and Lisa join me now. It's so lovely to talk to you two, it really is. And the new series back tomorrow. And it is just like we're, we're sitting in your kitchen, you know, having a glass of wine and, and just having a chat with you. It's, it's lovely, it's a real insight into your life. Well, I think it's what we always wanted to be, you know, is that actually, you know, on a weekend, what you want to do is join somebody in their kitchen and cook food that, that, that people do actually cook at home rather than sort of trying to be too... What's the word? Too... Fancy. Yes. But, I mean, we do forget the cameras are on us, I have to say, because they just let us chat. But and that's it's, good. And it's a good thing to do. Yeah, I like that. That's how it should be. And it really relaxed and lovely. Now, look, because of lockdown and because of restrictions and all of that, obviously you two don't have to social distance, of course, but have there been changes to the show? Have you had to make quite a lot of differences to, to the process? Yeah, huge differences. I mean, there were about... I think there was only 12 people were allowed in the studio, um, including John and I. So every, we had to, a prep kitchen, we had two prep kitchens, but they were distant from each other. We, I mean, literally we did our own hair and makeup, which you can probably see, um, but everyone respected it and everybody, nobody could go near us if we were on set. So everything had to be done very quietly and very softly. And, you know, we, everyone took their time um, as much as they could. It, it was difficult, but, but we did it. But the other thing was is that we wanted to stick to this original plan, Lorraine, and that is that we want to cook food that's accessible, we want to cook food that everybody can, can do. And other, also, just to say to people, you, you do have the option to actually change it up. If you don't have all the ingredients, there are ways of yeah. doing it. Um, yeah. And I think in times like this, that is, that's been really important. Yeah, it's, it's true. Everybody's had to be a little bit more creative and maybe it's not going to be quite to the recipe, but it'll be OK and it'll turn out and you can eat it. And it's fine. It's absolutely fine. Now, look, you two celebrated your, was it your six-month anniversary in lockdown? And actually, in a really delightful way, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, we, um, well, we decided to put our wedding gear on. I put my wedding dress on because I thought I'll never wear it again. Um, and six months in, we had nothing else to do. So I put my dress on, and then John came down in his outfit, which I had no idea he was going to. So we, <laughs> we did our cook, our Instagram cook, in our wedding gear. <laughs> Love it. But I think the other thing was, you know, it was that time when everybody was just feeling a bit flat and, you know, yeah. it was just nice to be able to give something back and to say to people, you know, what, why not get dressed up? Why not have a bit of fun? Why not have a date night at home? Why not do something a little bit different just to try and make us, us smile as well as everybody else smile? Well, exactly. And that's that's job done if that happens. It really does. Now, look, I was talking to uh, Denise and her partner as well, Eddie, earlier on, um, and they're kind of, you know, together 24-7. You two have been together 24-7. How has that been? Do you know what? We've done all right, haven't we? <laughs> <laughs> I think there have been times where John says, I'm going to go for a walk, or I say I'm going for a walk, or... The kids say they're going for a walk. We have we give each other space. Yeah. Um, homeschooling is is hard, um, but we've been pretty good together. I, I, I'm really and I said to Lisa, I wouldn't have got through that, this whole lockdown thing without her. I mean, she's been an absolute rock, and we you know we're great mates. We do all right together. Um, we love food together. We've cooked well. You know what? It's it's been okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's it's. I mean, after six months of marriage, you'd hope so, wouldn't yeah, you? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> You would, really, because it is still quite honeymoonish, for goodness sake. <laughs> you're still thinking that. But, yeah, it's great. I mean, I think you two, you know, you're each other's soulmate, which is lovely, and that comes across in, in the show. You know, you've got, a, you've got a really good relationship, and you can take the mickey out of one another as well, and that's, that's a sign of a really strong relationship when you can do that. I think yeah. it's really important that, you know, you don't take yourself too seriously. It's one of those things that you sort of learn. And Lisa loves to be able to take the mickey out of my Australian accent all the time. Well, I think it's not just me. I mean, literally, <laughs> me and, and the kids all rib John constantly because he comes out with these words and we're like, 
I've never heard you say that before. <laughs> and with these, oh, this Aussie accent, so yeah, he does get ripped for it. But, but I, don't mind. No, I think that's part of the fun, I and mean, that puts you back into reality. And I think that's the same with the food, is that we're not trying to be serious here with John and Lisa's Weekend Kitchen. The whole thing is about you sitting back, enjoying it. Don't worry about the quantities. Don't worry about the ingredients. All the recipes will be on the website. Just enjoy yeah. a Sunday morning with a cup of tea. Maybe have a giggle and then be inspired. It's as easy as that. Yeah, exactly. And that's, I think that's what people need now as well, because so many of us are at home and we're trying a lot more. You know, we are trying, well, not me, because I'm hopeless, but, you know, certainly my husband and daughter are trying, you know, different recipes. And, and you're right, you might not have that ingredient. It might not be available. I mean, for ages and, and still it's really hard to get hold of flour, isn't it? Really hard to get a load, especially self-raising flour. I don't know what's happened to it. Somewhere, somewhere there's a huge storage of it. It's crazy. But you just have to kind of, you know, make it work and adapt. Absolutely. Yeah. I think it's about adapting, as you say, and, and loads of people must have been baking. And I think that everyone is now doing cooking sort of three meals a day, people that have never cooked before. So suddenly there's this whole world of people that, you know, they don't want really fancy things. They just want simple things. And really just, even if it's an idea and they do something differently, but they go, oh, do you know what? I'm going to make my version of that tonight. Then we've done a good job. And I think um, the other thing, you know, the weekend kitchen is we've given these tips. So for instance, if you don't have self-raising flour, one kilo of plain flour plus 30 grams of baking powder makes your self-raising flour. So you, there are ways of making it yourself. So there's, and all those tips will be hopeful, will be helpful. Um, but yeah, out tomorrow, the first of, of 10, which is amazing. Yeah. Well, it's great to see both of you. It really is. Thank you so much for coming in and, and for inspiring us. I look forward to that tomorrow. And you're right, not a glass of wine that time in the morning. It would be a cup of tea at 11.35 on ITV.